Well, guys, I'm uh, pretty upset. Sucks really bad. So another day, and uh, I just finished the field. That's a good word, good couple words, finished the field. And I got a picture message from Leg Arms, and he got the bat, the big bud stuck pretty bad. You guys would be upset at me if I didn't film pulling that thing out. So uh, let's hurry up and get over there, because uh, I think they're just about hooked up. If you got a camera, you better film it. nice too is when you're in the brute and you can get there going 50 miles an hour. Doesn't take very long. It's like a Cadillac. Yeah, that's a wet spot. Okay, get the drone out. Sucks really bad. While filming that bud you being stuck, I was strafing in the drone. And I uh, smacked right in the side of the brute parked off to the side. cameras rolling. I raced over here to set up. I'm surprised this doesn't happen more honestly. I'm gonna have to order an arm and figure out how to fix this drone because I need this drone working next week. I need it. 1600 bucks for this bad boy. Oh well. It'll run again. Life goes on. Well after looking at my drone I'm pretty sure it just needs new props and a new arm. The arm wasn't too bad, it was like 45 bucks. Props was like 25 bucks. So for like 60 some bucks plus some time, my drone should be running again. I need it because something cool is coming to our farm next week and I gotta film it from the air. Ugh, just bought that drone. Again, my fault. I was the one flying it, so I should have known I parked the brute there when I was doing the strafing. I turned all the proximity stuff off. There's a reason they put that kind of hardware on there, so it can see objects and stop from flying into things. It probably would have saved it. There's a good chance it wouldn't have flown into the sprayer if I would have left the proximity uh, avoidance system on. The reason I turn it off is because I can't fly that thing around equipment with that on. It sees dust, it sees equipment, and it's constantly stopping the drone in the air and ruining my shots. So all the risk I was willing to take was turning that off so I could actually get some decent shots, get some close-up movements, it got hammered. So 
I think it's gonna work. I fired the drone up, all the motors work, camera, gimbal, everything looks good, camera's working, no weird errors popping up. I think it's just the housing, the plastic arm busted. And uh, so I'll know soon enough when I get the arm, hopefully it flies after that. <laughs> just, I didn't buy insurance on it too, because the amount they want for insurance, I figure I can fix it like this. So, all right, back to work, because right now that's the most important thing, getting the work done. All right, well, I got time right now. I'm gonna go ahead and repair my drone. There's the broken arm. I think that's all it's broke on this baby. Pretty sure that's all it's broke on it. I pray that this is all it's broke on it because I need this drone working. So I've got my spare right here. Let's take this thing apart, put a new arm on it, get back to business so I can start filming some sweet footage for you guys. So enjoy this. It's gonna be fast. That's weird. <laughs> Hey guys, moment of truth. Will it fly or will it start on fire like my first drone did when I repaired it? This is my third drone I repaired. Let's turn it on. Okay, it's beeping. All the props turn like they should. The LEDs are flashing on all the corners. Let's take off, see what happens. Another beautiful day. My drone is flying. That's good. I just got a call from Leg Arms and he's stuck. Uh, he was trying to rip apart a divider between two fields, more of a washout that we just never farmed through, and we were hoping that maybe this year we could farm through it. We'll just make it a little more efficient field. Well, he's stuck. So I'm winging the sprayer up. I got rode back a couple miles, grab the loader, get the cable, and go yank him out. So yeah, that's uh... Park this right here, and I'm gonna grab that bad boy. Well, that went really well. That wasn't bad at all. He didn't need much of a pull. He wasn't buried. It's just a quick get him up out of the soup and back onto the firm ground. So I'm gonna walk back, take his pickup back, take the brute back. We're just gonna leave that in the field because, well, they're in the area, so you never know when you might need the loader to yank him out again. All right, this low spot through here is just so wet right now. We're probably gonna have to wait till the end of summer when it dries up bring the grader in here, knock the sides of the trench down. There's a trench in there. 
and then we'll plow across it and then maybe seed this all to winter wheat and then you could start the process of farming across this because every time you got a headland headlands where you got to turn around to go back you have double spray double seed double fertilizer and inefficiency plus more compaction on the ground there because you're always driving over that spot so we like to bust lines out and make the fields long Leg arms did it again. We're gonna try pulling from a different spot. Wet here too? wet all over here. Okay, I'll drive from an angle here and see what happens. They got pretty good hooks on there. Still not as big as we're gonna put on the Series 3. That's gonna be a big hook. Stopped at my house to get a bite to eat, and that's when I got the message from uh, Leg Arms that he was stuck. But he's not stuck anymore, and we're good. And there's the tractor. And I'm chasing Leg Arms in the front end loader right here. Got him out. That's good. Leg arms has uh, been, for some reason, he likes to play in the mud. I don't know what his deal is, but this year he's been in it three times and I haven't been in it any. I have gotten close though. But last year we got stuck a lot more, so no, honestly, it's not a big deal at all. Guys, again, thanks for watching the video and uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Subscribe to the channel, please. We're almost 200,000 subscribers when we get there. Uh, the map is gonna get released for Farming Simulator right around that time, so that'll be awesome. You guys will get that from Mapper's Paradise. But definitely, guys, appreciate you uh, being a part of the channel, being part of the team. Stay tuned for the next video because something big is coming today to the farm and I can't wait and I'm getting ready for it because we are gonna use this thing a lot. So, really excited. You guys are gonna love it. I'm sure you're guessing what it is. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll, you'll know soon enough. But there'll be live streams and videos to come. Anyways, take care guys, God bless. Have a wonderful day, we'll see you next time.